Hey guys, welcome back. So let's take a look at the markets a little bit here. Um, I would like to start by saying that uh, I haven't been doing anything on the markets, not buying, not selling, not shorting, not longing, nothing for probably two or three weeks now. Um, I'm not uh, even sharing any signals on the premium group or anything like that because uh, it's not uh, the time to be messing uh, messing around with these markets, uh, at least not for me. Uh, but um, yes, and I wanted to comment as well. I watch uh, the Crypto Sniper uh, a lot. I watch all his videos. I respect the man a lot. Uh, nothing changed uh, in my opinion to him. I think he's very good and he has a method that's uh, how he gets the targets. But I gotta say this time, I think uh, I wouldn't be so excited uh, about going short at this point because uh, you cannot forget this already. I mean, I'm showing Bitcoin Cash first because it's the one I'm interested in, but I will show a few altcoins later uh, and it's even more obvious. I mean, you cannot forget we have corrected already more than 80%, 85%. And uh, Bitcoin Cash is not the one that corrected the most. So, but still 80%. I wouldn't be so excited, so excited uh, calling shorts now because the juice for shorting was here, was from here to here. Anything after that, it's been consolida uh, consolidation. And yes, of course, if you are day trading, if you're looking at the one hour candles or 15 minutes candles, yes, for sure, there's juice here. But it, for me, in my opinion, uh, I, f I focus more on the daily candles. I wouldn't be so excited uh, calling shorts and uh, guys, you know, uh, I mean, if you've been following my channel for long enough, you know, I am all about trading, uh, trading continuation. I'm not about uh, calling the top, calling the bottom and calling reversals. I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not about that at all. I trade continuation and uh, I have no problem calling shorts and, and, uh, and being a bear, no problem whatsoever. I have been uh, since the beginning of the year until the past, uh, what, couple months. So I say it's very likely we bottomed here and we are only stabilizing here. We are in a consolidation period in this market. Uh, of course it could go lower, but how much lower? What I mean is the juice for shorting was here and well, again, uh, Bitcoin Cash is not the best example, but let's see uh, Cardano. Uh, I'm showing this one because it's been heavily requested all the whole time. So, I mean, look at this. Uh, do you think it's uh, it's safe to go short here? Because to me, it's crazy. Uh, and again, I have no problem being a bear. I have been saying to go short the whole way down when uh, we were anywhere during downtrend so long as we were below moving averages i have been saying short when it bounces off moving average short here and then we were going sideways and up and i said no guys we are still bearish we're below moving averages we just crossed here short when it bounces off moving average and then you short here again in this one short when it bounces off moving average and you continue and you continue to trade continuation until when until it goes above moving averages and your ultimate signal to stop being short is when they cross bullish and they cross bullish here and now it's time to not go short anymore because we had the bullish uh, a bullish signal here on the 20 and 50 day moving averages. And since then we have been consolidating. There's a very high chance that's, that this was the bottom because this is like a 90% correction, a little bit more in fact. So even if the price was to come to retest the bottom, even if it was to come here, which I don't know if it'll go that uh, that low again or not, but even, even if it does so, do you think it's worth shorting for this little bit here? The time to short, has passed already there's no more there's no more juice left to short here in my opinion i wouldn't be so excited calling shorts especially for most of the altcoins it's uh, this is uh, very likely to be consolidation accumulation uh phase for the altcoin so yeah uh icon uh yeah icon dollar this one was heavily requested as well it's crashing now so man if you like the project it is time to buy dips and how long it's been since you heard me say buy the dip 
months months i mean since the beginning of the past bull run i haven't said to buy dips never said to buy dips here during the during the uh bear market never said to buy dips during the sideways market now you can safely start thinking about buying dips and now is when you don't get scared of buying it when it's below moving averages because it corrected already 90 percent of or more this is very likely to be a complete market cycle and now stabilizing before the next bull run when the next bull run will come i have no idea i have been saying this we might have it now or we might just go sideways forever until you know for whatever you know months it takes until the next bull run i don't know how long as i said uh, maybe now maybe several months from now but this is the bottom this is not time to be shorting or to be excited about calling shorts in my opinion it's time to be looking uh to buy dips if you like the project i'm not interested in icon myself but if i was i would be looking to buy it now of course i don't know if this thing is going to go down uh, to zero and die because all these new projects that's why i don't usually invest in new projects unless i do a very uh good research and you know and even then i'm n i'm not always going to be right 100 percent of the times so no one no one ever will uh that's just impossible to to see the future but uh it's more risky uh investing in these new things is more risky than uh in other you know in other things that have uh, more history but uh, again, unless, you know, assuming this is not going to go down to zero and die because of a, because it's a shit project, if that's not the case, then man, there's I don't see any other time better to buy dips than now. I would be buying, I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't mind buying now at $2.7, $2.70, even if it was to go down to retest the previous lows at uh, $1.90, I wouldn't mind uh, to start buying in now and and uh, increasing if it goes lower because it's super super low already it's corrected freaking 90 percent so that's how we see the market i don't yeah i wouldn't be uh very excited calling shorts anymore uh the time to short has passed already all the juice was here as you can see and even here when it bounced off this even here but not anymore in my opinion it's time to start thinking maybe in buying dips and but there's no hurry because we're going in a sideways market so it doesn't mean you have to go and rush now uh, rush to the exchange and buy it all you what well, you're gonna have time likely you know uh to to be accumulating or increasing your position uh, of course uh not using money that you're gonna need in five minutes it has you know use money you're not gonna need in a long time because uh chances are we go sideways for a long time here uh what else btc for those interested uh we are still squeezing so again i wouldn't be that excited about calling shorts i trade continuation as well but uh guys you need to have in consideration that the lower we are the more risky trading continuation is so you will be trading i would be trading continuation for as long as you know we are below moving averages we're continuing to bounce off and go lower bounce off and go lower you continue to trade the continuation but after we correct at 70 percent it's time to hey i'm gonna slow down uh with the shorts because you know the lower it goes obviously the closer we are from the bottom a uh, btc is the one that's a little bit more tricky because it only corrected 70 percent instead of 90 percent like most of the altcoins so it could uh go down more i would say uh i'm still I st i'm still 50 50 this was the bottom or not so nothing changed for me it's still squeezing the last trade we had for btc was from 7000 to 95 uh that 95 was the target to exit and since since then um you know it's time to be out at least for me i'm not shorting i'm not doing anything here it's still squeezing as i have been saying for like two months now it would be squeezing here until the siding if it breaks up or down and i am 50 50 it'll break up or down if it breaks up then i think uh I think we're gonna be good maybe uptrending uh very very slowly and if it breaks down my next target would be uh maybe five thousand the top of the previous the the last significant top here at five thousand that would be my target down if this squeezing pattern breaks in the downside 
if you want to short that, if it breaks down, yeah, there you go, you're going to have a short-term short position uh, that you could uh, try and take advantage of it. But uh, again, it's more risky to go short now than it was from 17,000. You know, all the juice was here for shorting. Why? Like, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't be calling for shorts uh, anymore in here. Again, it doesn't mean it cannot go lower, but because it's not clear at all, I don't like it, you know. But of course, if you're a day trader, if you're trading very, very uh, short uh, time frames, then yes. But um, that's my view on uh, the markets, guys. I mean, I would see this uh, dip as an opportunity. Uh, doesn't mean it won't go lower, but even if these things go and retest the previous lows, you, t I mean, come on, you tell me we're super low here. The risk is minimal, it's minimal. And yeah, I mean, if you follow me for a long time, you know, I have no problem being a bear, no problem at all, but not anymore, not after this, come on now. Uh, I would be looking to buy dips from now, uh, you know, and increasing the lower it gets uh, from here. That's my opinion. Um, so let's see how this plays out. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.